a very Shubh Diwali. At the start of the lockdown, Modi ji launched Atmanabhar Bharat. This is great because Bharat's unique problems can be solved by its own solutions that draw from its great civilizational heritage. For this to happen though, India's leaders need to be mentally Atmanabhar. Yet I see so many instances of colonial thinking instead. For example, when Maig of India calls Mortis as idols. Now, when religious images are part of the Christian tradition, they are called icons and classified as works of religious art that are sacred. But when they are part of non-Christian traditions, they are demeaned as idols, meaning superstitious and not sacred. That's why Hindus worship Murtis and not idols. All India Radio says Diwali crackers burns birds. Yet US 4th of July crackers don't burn birds. UK Guy Fawkes crackers don't burn birds. And IPL cricket, political Bollywood and New Year's crackers in India don't burn birds, but Diwali crackers do. Modi G asked Indians to make loud, loud noises with utensils during lockdown, but Diwali cracker noises are bad. Why is it that intelligent Indian political leaders and bureaucrats cannot see how illogical and unfair this is? It's because subconsciously they believe anything Hindu is bad. That's what they've been drummed into their minds since school. So they can't see historical and scientific evidence objectively and blindly believe what the media say and ban crackers. No such concern at Eid or Christmas, which are heavily polluting. Mental colonization is India's biggest problem and it will make wrong choices to solve its economic, legal and social problems unless its leaders become mentally Arminabhar.